Good morning, Pastor Ray here with the Daily Bread. God is good. It is a beautiful day today, and I hope all is well. What a, a wonderful weekend, amen, seeing God do a work and believing the Lord for good things. Uh, uh, continuing today in the book of Acts, we're in chapter 15. We'll be reading a nice portion of scripture today. I want to uh, move through this, but um, verses... 12 through 21. All right, let's read verses 12 through 21 and see what the Lord would speak. Amen. So I hope all is well in your life and uh, believing God. It says this, Then all the multitude kept silent and listened to Barnabas and Paul, declaring how many miracles and wonders God had worked through them among the Gentiles. And after they had become silent, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, listen to me. Simon has declared how God at first visited the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. And with this the words of the prophets agree, just as it is written, After this I will return, and will rebuild the tabernacle of David which has fallen down. I will rebuild its ruins, and I will set it up so that the rest of mankind may seek the Lord, even all the Gentiles who are called by my name says the Lord who does all these things. Known to God from eternity are all his works. Therefore I judge that we should not trouble those from among the Gentiles who are turning to God, but that we write to them to abstain from things polluted by idols, from sexual immorality, and from things strangled, and from blood. For Moses has had throughout many generations those who preach him in every city being read in the synagogues every Sabbath. All right, and so you might not notice, but there's that little nugget right there. Paul and Barnabas are talking about how uh, God worked and did, you know, miracles and, and helped people. And people were getting saved and they were getting helped by God through the preaching of the gospel, right? And that's kind of the marker, right? It's, we don't just come to God for, you know, and stay the same, right? It's the changed life. That's, that's what follows the gospel, and, and especially true believers. It's, it's a changed life. That's the mark. And, and so they did miracles, and, and I don't understand why today, well, actually I do. People want to do away with miracles because they think that, well, you know, well, the devil does miracles too, and there's an argument there. But with the gospel, people are getting helped. Amen? And so that's how it works. But then it goes on, and they're dealing with the Gentile issues, as you remember previously, uh, how they were, uh, and Peter stands up, and, you know, we're saved by grace through faith. He doesn't say that there, but that's kind of the, uh, the truth that is applied. And so <clears throat> he's working, and it's, uh, um, and then James gets up. And James pulls off from the top of his head this scripture, and he just quotes it, and it's about how God, in the last days, is going to pull Gentiles in. Gentiles are people who are not Jewish, or people who are not the, uh, you know, the chosen Israelites, and um, and so God is saving them, bringing them in, and and he, he off the top of his head he pulls that verse, and then he says, you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna trouble them with if they're coming to God through Jesus we're not going to burden them with the law of Moses we're not going to do that so I don't think that's right but I do want them to we should help them to abstain from sexual immorality right come on to turn from their idols mm -hmm. yep and from blood right and uh, I think that that is more than just, you know, cooking food with blood. I, I think there is a, a whole lot more that is intertwined with that, but, um, but sexual immorality. Come on, right? When we come to Jesus, right, the Bible says we put off our lusts, right? Come on, we put off our lusts. We don't fornicate. Sex out of marriage is not okay. To live like that is not okay. It's time to get married. It's time to do things right. It's time to hold on to um, exercise some self-control, you know? It's, it's time to do that when we come to Jesus. That is part of being a Christian. Um, it is possessing your vessel properly, turning from your idols, right? The idolatry and 
I know back then they had statues and stuff like that, but we may not have statues and stuff like that, but um, anything that gets in the way of you truly serving God and giving Him your all can be an idol. You know, sometimes it's worldly success that is our idol, uh, success in general. You know, we think that God is meant to make us successful. That's not God. God is God. And, and we, we have to be careful, you know, not to just think, oh, well, that's for them back then. No, 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 it's for us today, too. And, 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 and we have to hold some standards of holiness, personal standards of holiness in our lives. Right? Come on. I'm doing real talk today. Personal standards of holiness. And, and it's up to you. I can't do it for you. You can't do it for me. It's between us and God. And when our relationship's right with God, then, then we're going to want to push those things to the side. Amen. And, and the conviction and the Holy Spirit will come and help us to guide us and say, you know what, no. And, and, and so he's writing to them and, and, and that is, is enough to keep them. And not only that, they need to love Jesus. It's all about Jesus. And so, amen. I appreciate you watching. We're working through the book of Acts. The Gentiles are now part of the church. They're getting saved. Gentiles are, it's me, I'm a Gentile. I'm not an um, Israelite, um, and so I thank God for that. And so I want to encourage you in that. Have you dropped your personal standards of holiness? And through the pandemic, you know, I'm sure a lot of people have compromised, and, you know, that's one of the battles is personal standards of holiness. I want to encourage you in that. Amen. Seek the Lord. Draw near to Him. Push aside the sin. And, and, and see what God will do in your life. Amen. And so uh, that's it for the daily bread today. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name.